Greetings and welcome back everyone to Halcyon 6 where the Cadet Barracks has completed its task. Very well, show location. What did we just complete? Well, at this point we need rank 4 in order to do anything else, really. Um, well, okay. Well, that's fine. Who have we got available? We've got Aminia. Um, uh, sorry, Amina. Sorry, <laughs> I apologize. Right, uh, done. Nadir Kaya. Well, as it happens... We have a couple of new names. Now, our new officer shall be named Moriarty. There we are. Our new science officer is thus named. What ships do we have available? We have got... Have we got any that need names? No, we've got everything named. Okay. And our final um, tactical officer shall be named... Let's see... They shall be named the, uh, sorry, Leroy. There we go. Tactical Officer Leroy. There we are. Now, we've got six days until we get a new tactical uh, vessel, the Crusader. Commander, Leroy has successfully created 30 Dark Matter with the Dark Matter Multiplier. Oh, fantastic. Right, well, I would like some more of that, please. Who have we got available? Moriarty, make it so. Four days. Hello, who are you? So we have an incoming hypercast from the Collective. Hi, Terran friends. Hope you're holding on okay in that ungainly situation of yours. So, I've sent this hypercast to ask a favour. Nothing too pressing, but it would be really great of you to help me out on this. It turns out an aggressive identity matrix embedded from a few centuries back managed to hold itself up into a handful of my biovessels. Which wouldn't normally be a problem, but a re-optimization of my biovessel placements sort of led to them coalescing on the same few ships of one of my fleets. Long story short, I partitioned off one of my fleets and it's now super hostile to humans. So, just giving you a heads up, if you could handle it, that would be great. I would, but I'd rather not risk the Matrix spreading in any manner. Because, you know, I like getting along with my neighbours, specifically my human ones. Anyway, let me know one way or another. Okay, no, I'll take that up. Thanks, that would be really sweet of you. Okay, okay, okay. So, where is this new pressing matter I need to deal with? Also, uh, I don't think I actually need to give you a skill. No, you've already got all your skills, it's fine. Uh, what is it? Rogue to partition? Okay, you're all the way down there. Are you gonna come up to me? No? Very well. Commander Mercenary has successfully replicated 150 materials with the materials multiplier. Well, before we do that, I need to check how long we've got on the ship construction. Two days. Uh, if I go for this one, how long will it take you? Five days. So, no. What I would prefer, then, is to go for this one, please, Mercenary. That would only take you two days. There you go. That'll be a bit better. We'll try and get all of this done, and then we'll send our fleets out. There we go. Moriarty successfully created 30 Dark Matter with a Dark Matter Multiplier. Show location. Now, that means all of our current newest officers are ready to go and do some other work. Which is, quite frankly, amazing. Stasis locks. Spin maneuver. We're gonna go with spin maneuver. There we go. Right. Okay. It is time for us to send out a new fleet. Let's uh, actually go back to the the map. We need to start going around collecting stuff, and that is gonna be with the red dwarf fleet, which will be. Uh, we'll have the HMSS Nightingale. We will also have the HMSS Crescent Rose. And the RRSS Discovery. These are our best crewed ships. Flown by junior commanders. Because they're our best crewed ships. Ultimately, they are so good at what they do. I don't imagine that the uh, commander's junior rank will be much of a hindrance. Officer currently busy. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Cancel, 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 cancel. No, 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 no. We need... That's right, we need to change that slightly, don't we? Damn it. Okay, I need to go back over here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Remove officer. 
I would like to assign an officer and it needs to be a Leroy. Ah, there we go, Leroy. Enjoy. Enjoy the HMSS Crescent Rose. Now then, we are going to be sending that fleet back out. Red Dwarf, and where is the Crescent Rose? There we go. Enjoy. Right. And, yeah, go. There we go. We'll just uh, acknowledge our way through until we get the new fleets. Commander, we've cleared out the section you asked for. Fantastic. And ETA, uh, ETA, Dark Matter Extractor. Yes, transfer all of it. Thank you very much. Moving on. Um, let's head away from the cruel. Red Dwarf, move on. And there we are. The new Crusader-class starship is now ready for active duty. All it needs now is a commanding officer, which you may assign from the ship management console. And I will do. There we are. And this shall be christened the HMSS Raya. There we are. For obvious reasons that may or may not be obvious to you based on whether you've played Mass Effect. Release mines, that's actually quite nice. Engines down, decent amount of damage there. The ship disable is still there. We've still got deconstruct, which does a reasonable amount of damage at this point. And we've got flak barrage. It can actually, yeah, that's actually quite nice. We've got two options now for take uh, for exploiting engines down. One does significantly more damage though. Hmm. But that one hits all enemies. So if I can get engines down on all of them, that would be fantastic. Right, okay, given that, we just need to wait on new roll upgrades for one day. That's all we gotta wait for. I could go ahead and build a material multiplier, though. Uh, actually, let's not go straight ahead and do that. Instead, let's go and build that re the uh, repair bay over here. Let's get that going. It'll take five days. Do we actually have enough to build the materials multiplier again? Oh yeah, we do. Okay, let's get another one going. The more we get of those, the better. We just need to wait one day. Oh dear, we've got someone coming. Right, the Officer Academy has completed its task. Show location. Now, to get more, we're going to need a lot more crew, which we just frank frankly don't have. But now we've got someone from the La Yanthu um, Union coming along. I don't really want to talk to them, but okay. All right, let's leave the system. Send Red Dwarf off to get some materials. There we go. Gra gather all those up. Leave system. Um, do we want, well, we may as well go grab the fuel since we're all the way out here. How much fuel is there? 33. How much fuel is there? 22. Yeah, okay. May as well. Send fleet. Red Dwarf. Go, go, go. Hello. A Zalar fleet has entered our sector, sir. They're hailing us, but first they took up artillery positions. Telling. Yanthu supporting Terran dogs. You will hand over that station immediately. Inquire as to why they want the station. Only the mighty Zalar Pasragade. Pasragade? Yeah, Pasragade deserve the incredible power of this precursor station. Ask about the Zalar Pasragade rebellion. Ever since taking power, the Zla Yanthu Directorate has oppressed our genetic lineage, and now it is the Pasragade's turn to conquer. Now, will you give in to our demands, or should we bombard your living quarters until all your crew members, tiny insect-like being, spew out of the fissures we create? Reject demands. Which means you're now going to get utterly destroyed by the White Star Fleet. Utterly destroyed. The destruction is going to be... Quite complete. Uh, new. Thank you, Leroy. No. We want the Raya. Oh, my lord, look at all our abilities. This is going to be fun. Repair all. Uh, the warrior genetic, uh, geneticist Zla Yanthu are a vicious, a determined, and wildly oversensitive people. Something's happened to set these ones against you. Okay. Nothing we did. They're infighting. Defensive systems are vulnerable. They are resistant to crew and crew panicked. Is that true of all of them? Okay, well, fair enough. Um, are they going to be taking a turn? 
really no matter what I do. I inflict screw panicked. Um, sure, we're gonna torture. I'm not sure which one that is, but we'll go for you since you've got lowest health. We can take you out faster. There we go. Torture. Lovely. Right. Um, I would not mind getting targeting support. But at the same time, I know that one's fired, so let's go with you. Try and move you down a little bit more. Oh no, you were the one who got the next turn. I'm not going to be using that one yet. What I will do, though, is try and disable this ship if we can. And now, I would very much like to accelerate you so that we can get more engines down so that we can exploit them all in one go. Engines down. Did you resist? Oh, you scallywag. My crew are panicked. How dare you? How very dare you? I will try again. You resisted again. Uh, it's going to be one of those days. Um, so many things that, that exploit engines down. It's quite remarkable, really. Okay, well. Sure, I'll go with this. I'm probably not going to inflict crew panics, to be fair, but. Okay, well, you're out of your situation. At least we've got an engine down there. Can you please stop shooting my ships? Once more we'll try. There we go. Thank goodness. I'd also like to exploit that and just do a load of damage. And chunky damage. And finally, release the mines! That was glorious. Quite, quite glorious. What did you just do? Blood Wrath, Blood Rage. Destruction Aura. I don't like the sound of that one, surprisingly enough. Let's go and take you out if we can. Close. Not quite, though. Finish you off with that. And then... See if we can't inflict um, Hull Breach as well. No? Okay. Bit of a shame. I would have been quite a useful one to have gotten on there, but I can probably finish you off. There we go. Even though you were resistant to that kind of damage. There we are. Not a terrible return, but uh, not a good one either, to be perfectly honest with you. Right, I would like this fleet to... Can I get you? I can't send you home. Hmm. But I would like you to go home. Well... No, I can't. Okay. Well, I guess we could go down here and take you on, because you're not that healthy, so we'll probably be able to manage it. There we are. Continue. Transfer all the fuel. Leave the system. Now, where do I want to send you next? Um, I... Now, we'll just go straight back, since it's a free trip that way. There we are. The Repair Bay is now online. Now, this I want to have a look at. Passive Repair. Increases the amount of passive repair to your ships at the Starbase by 20 per day. Oh, that's pretty cool. Repair cost reduction. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologize. Wow. Well, we're going to have a, a bunch of officers back soon, so we can start looking to that. Now, Propulsion Lab. I would not mind that one once the... Uh, what? Cruel Lab? Unlocks the ability to build the Cruel Lab, which reduces research costs and enables a new Cruel-related tech. Oh, this is fantastic! I didn't realize we had anything like this coming up. Ooh, okay. I like. I like a lot. I like an awful lot, actually. Alright, well, we're going to build that one. Um, I don't really want her over here. I guess I'll build her over there. Now, who's going to get to their destination first? There we are. Collective Fleet! The half-robotic, half-organic collective are a normally peaceful race, though from time to time they sometimes exude psychopathic tendencies. This seems to be one of those occasions. Unfortunate, really. Uh, right, what do you, are you resistant to? Senses and senses offline. Uh, if only, only we had that. Right, I would like to heal everyone. And there we go. Not a bad heal, and we're healing for quite a few rounds. 
Okay, let's go for engines down on one of you. See if we can't... Ah, damn it. It would have been great if we could have taken you out, but no. Okay, let's see if we can disable you. That's a little bit better. I would like to quicken you. If we can get engines down on all of them, then not only does it slow down their turns... Meltfield? That does not sound pleasant. Two Meltfields? That super doesn't sound pleasant. I disapprove. There we go. Um, I would like to inflict Hull Breach on you. Then try and take your engines down. Damn you and your resistance. Go ahead, we'll just smack you with some torture. Torturing the AI. Very wholesome. And you're gone. What about you? Resisted. Very well done. Very annoying, but very well done. Well, I guess I could exploit the vulnerability that we've got there. The uh, hull breach, which should enable us to kill. There we are. And then we'll just exploit the engines down. There we go. Very nice chunk of damage there, to be fair. Right, I would like some more healing. Let's see if we will remove all of the hull breach effects. No, we don't remove the hull breach effects. That's a bit of a shame, but okay. And there we are. Not a bad battle. Sorry about that, I had to mute the mic there. I was uh, having a, had a bit of a cough in my throat. The Collective has detected the destruction of its erstwhile components and is hypercasting us again. Perfect. Scary stuff, right? Anyway, great that an ancient, psychotic version of me isn't around to propagate, right? I'll definitely send some materials your way. You humans love materials, after all. Thanks again, buddy. <laughs> I like them. Right, gain structural engineer. I know how to make the ship stronger. Space combat health plus five percent. Fantastic. I approve. Right, uh, that is plus two evasion on the HMSS Vengeance. And Moriarty is now level three. Hooray, Moriarty! Oh, we already took that level. Well, drat. Not as good as I was thinking. Now, you're on the way to. <laughs> Diabling debt collectors? Mm. I'm not liking that. How about you return home? Can you move faster than them? No, unfortunately. Resources retrieved 305 dark matter, 212 materials, and Cadet Sun. Mercenary, known Cadet Sun, plus one speed. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's actually have a look over here. Now, one thing I wouldn't mind. Um, we could look at that. Is there faster ship construction? I would love something that just made my ships faster. Faster ship construction. Can we get the propulsion lab yet? We can now get it, yes. Then I would like it. Then I would like to build it, if we can. Propulsion lab. Make it so. Six days, but should be worth getting. Passive repair. Let's add an officer. Let us get Commander Leroy in there. It'll take one day to get that. That's actually pretty good. And we'll have uh, Moriarty working on Dark Matter for us as well. Uh, cadets, is there anything? No, there's nothing really that we want to do for the Cadets right now. So, um, Night Warder, Disciple. There's not really anything for us to do, so no, we don't need to uh, worry about that for the time being. I'm not going to put a tactical officer on making materials, because it's not an ideal use of their skills. Commander, we have a situation at the repair bay. Oh, God. Our repair squad is reporting a dark matter efficiency loss somewhere along their pipeline. They've narrowed it down to the drones themselves, perhaps becoming semi-aware and squirreling away the dark matter for themselves. Either way, it's highly problematic, and action must be taken. Replace the repair drones. The entire pack of repair drones are replaced with brand new drones with a few extra layers of AI security. Materials minus 20. Okay, well, that's fine. I could have ignored it, and we probably have, like, self-aware drones at some point. So, a yabbling fleet has entered our vicinity. They're hailing us. Well, well, well. 
Good to see you again, human remnant leader. I have some bad news for you. We recently did an audit on our outstanding debt obligations, and we're stunned to realize that a debt that your Federation government was meant to repay four yabs ago simply never got paid off. How much does New Terra owe? It turns out you owned the Cer Central Yab Bank 40,000 materials. Wait, how are we liable for New Terra's loan? Well, that's easy. You're the Federation still, dummy. Just because you're experiencing an onset catastrophe that threatens your race's existence doesn't free you from debt obligations. Think of the moral, uh, moral hazard that might cause. Now, normally we'd simply offer to see some of your collateral, say a planet or two, but we'd rather not have to face any of those flesh aliens, frankly. Wow. So what do you want from us? Now, we aren't going to be unreasonable. We could take payment in monthly installments for the foreseeable future. Or you could opt to fight our collection fleet. Wait, we can just fight your fleet? Wow, you really humans really don't like reading the fine print, do you? Economics isn't our strong suit. The Abling Law stipulates that if the Extinction Event Race Clause in Section 333 is invoked, then the debt to race can invoke a trial by combat. Trial by combat, really? Yes! Yeesh, you Terrans make it sound so complicated. The rules are very simple. Anyway, the choice is up to you. Uh, yeah, we'll fight. <sighs> Fair enough. This was... This will degrade your credit score, though. Just letting you know. That, that's fine. I'm, I'm completely okay with that. I'd, I'd like the White Star Fleet to... Uh, you know what? No, just wait for the White Star Fleet to get back, and then we'll send them out. All right, the Repair Bray has uh, completed its task. Hooray! Completed tasks are always good. All right. Um, no, just acknowledged on that one. I want to get my fleet back so that they can start fighting. Commander Moriarty has successfully created the, the Dark Matter. Well, I would like you to do more. Thank you. And there we go. Right. Now, send out the White Star Fleet for, like, no fuel whatsoever. That is much, much better for me. Now, the cheerful yablings aren't often pushed to hostilities, but something's happened to set these ones against you. Prepare to get slimed! I don't want to be slimed. <sighs> I just said, I, d I don't want to be slimed. Why? Why you gotta be like this, yablings? Seriously. Does it have to degrade to this? Okay, well, actually, first, let me have a look. Crew and crew panicked. Okay, you're resistant to propulsion, though. So I'm going to actually speed up our science ship. And I'm going to have you try for an engine down. Yeah. Really, you use engines down me? That is just so... Uh. All right, let's go for crew panicked. Then, let's actually disable one of the ships. Oh, that is an attack that I do not get to use very often. How remarkably ungood. How remarkably ungood. I also torture you. Slime meld. Okay, so you're healing, I should imagine. Given that, I'm going to buff everyone's damage a little bit. This is just going to be a slog of a fight. It doesn't look like we're going to. Re we're really built for this. Oh. Well, at least I got that off. Really built for the sorts of um, effects that they're going to be. Um, let's find this. That they're going to be um, vulnerable to. I kept wanting to say resistant. It's like, no, 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 no. We are built for the ones that they're resistant to. That's the problem. Sure, we'll exploit the engines down effect. Okay, let's do better next time. Engines down, exploited, don't like it, let's heal. There we go, and we'll start healing each turn. Same with you, really, but... Everyone just got engines down? Well, that's just no fun at all. Uh, Alright, well... You know what, sure. Let's just go for an all-out attack on everyone. Brought one of them very close to being taken out. Ouch. Really disliking this, but thank goodness you went down. My lord. Uh, let's go for crew panic on you. 
The thing is, we don't actually have anything that'll affect crew panic, so... It's not really the ideal situation. Will you please stop picking on my science vessel, my lord? Engines down there. Let's exploit engines down straight away. Oh, thank goodness you evaded. Right, you could take him out. There we go. Thank goodness. That one was actually faster than the others. Yeah, I'm going to need to use our healing effect again. Unfortunate, but necessary. Actually, it just ran out anyway, so that was good timing. There we are. And let's go for Hull Breach. Sure, let's try and destabilize you, shall we? Um, by destabilize, I mean disable. <laughs> My words are all over the place today. I have no idea why. It's been like this since I woke up. I had some very bizarre dreams. I just don't think I've recovered from them yet. Now, there we go. All of them are down. We win. 343 Dark Matter. So we received a receipt at the debt obligation cancellation from the Yablin Credit Authority. Authority, Following our trial by combat, they are now satisfied. Alright. Well, that was significantly easier than I was expecting it to be, I'll be perfectly honest. Right, let's just return home. And then... I think we should head out here and close this portal while we can. Let's confirm, and that'll be the last thing that we do in this episode. So launch the fleet. Ah, oh, you're already on the way, that's annoying. Moriarty has successfully created more dark matter. Fantastic. Let's get more going. There we are. And let's also get some more matter as well. Or materials, rather. There's nothing really else that we can do right now. We could go in here, I guess, and increase passive repair even further. But we've only really got you to do it, but yeah, sure. That's not a bad thing. Right. After this fight, we'll head out and destroy that at our Dark Matter planet over there. Fantastic on the materials, though. Doing this very well. Keep up the good work. Right, okay. Start combat. See if we can't close this portal, shall we? Right. Start off by speeding up... The most tanky ship that we've got. By far, actually. And then have them go for an early ship disable on... Well, I don't know which one's going to move first. Well, we'll go for an early ship disable on you. Then I would like for another ship disable on you. If we're fortunate. Which it looks like... No, we were not. That is a shame. Alright. Well, let's go for a hull breach. We're not going to make use of that one. We Actually, we're going to stack torture. If we're lucky. No, they resisted it. That's annoying. Alright. We'll also stack Hull Breach on you, then. And I think at this point, follow up with the engines down, just to slow them down a little bit. Let's go for this one since it'll do a little bit more damage. Incisor beam. A fair chunk, actually. And now we could exploit the engines down with ramming speed. This will do enough to kill. I mean, that's a very big ship to be rammed by, let's, let's be honest. There we are. So, by the time this one came back into the fight, we'd already taken out one of them, so we should be in a fairly good position at this point. Uh, let's go for... well, actually, I don't think we need crew panic. Let's just continue to hit them with just raw damage. These lower-level crew fleets are not that difficult for us to manage at this point. That's a shame. I was hoping that we'd slow them down a tad. I'll just keep up the, the damage on this one. We could exploit the engines down, and at this point, it would be nice to. However... Well, sure, we'll, we'll go for it. It's a, good, it's a good chunk of damage. Resisted. I'm 
unfortunate. Um, no, we're going to go with a heal at this point. There we go. Thankfully, they don't have one of their, I think, Cedar ships, which allows them to, to have that kind of support ability. There we go. Just, just shy of killing it. But it doesn't matter over much. Let's try and see if we can't disable you. No. That was unfortunate. That would have been glorious, because I could have uh, used the opportunity to just continue to heal. Go for engines down. If we get it, then it is a win. There we go. Nice and easy. And the uh, portal is shut down. Okay, we destroyed the cruel contingent garden. It there won't be any more cruel coming from this sector. Fantastic. We need to be over there right now. Launch the White Star Fleet, please. Go, go, go. All right, another thirty dark matter. Acknowledge. I'm gonna wait for them to finish their jobs. Uh, we've only got three days on that being done. Five days over there. Actually, in that case, I can continue working for a little bit while longer. There we go. But once we're finished with Passive Repair 2, we're going to be sending out that fleet to gather some more materials. I could have actually had the White Star Fleet do it, but I want them to get there as fast as they can. Right, the Propulsion Lab is now online. Let's go and have a look. Fast travel fuel efficiency. Reduce the fuel cost by 10%. Or transwarp drive improvements, which increases the travel speed of all your fleets by 10%. This is the one that we would really like. That is very much the one that we would really like. And we might even actually be able to squeeze that in before uh, we're finished on the passive repair too. So we'll see. But on that note, I think we're going to be wrapping things up. We've just made some more materials, which is good. Uh, show location will actually get you working down here then on the faster travel speed. There we are. Only takes one day. Yes, please. We've got a pirate mining fleet moving in and that's actually a chunky ship right there oh not sure but then we've got th three very very well crewed ships that could be able to deal with it mm, we'll have to see but that's going to be it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next as ever any feedback warmly welcomed in the comments down below and a like on the video lets me know you'd like to see more halcyon 6 in the future but until then take care everyone